Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and another DIY project. So, as you saw in the last video that we were transforming our deck outside, it's too windy, that's why I'm starting the video inside. Um, everybody thought that the deck transformation project is over, my wife thought so, but then I was just browsing on the internet and I got an idea that we can add one more thing on our deck. My wife wasn't really interested in it but I tried my best and I convinced her. So this time I'll be installing misting system on our deck. So basically it is kind of a mist which uh, you might have seen in lounges and patios outside in the restaurant. So this is, this is a tube which I got from Amazon. It's basically the whole kit. Uh, it comes with tubes, the mist, and uh, this is a 3.8 inch uh, wall which can directly fit in your hose outside and a couple of washers so this is a 1.4 inches tube we can cut this tube with a pair of scissors insert the mist and when um, the mist also has an opening and closing uh, system to it so basically if uh, we don't need a mist somewhere we can just shut it off by twisting the nozzle and it, um, there won't be any mist over there so this project sounds exciting Angita is not with me I am doing it all by myself here because she's not happy that I'm doing this project but I have you guys and let's rock this. I'm on my deck now and the plan now is the water outlet is down in the garage. So I'll be using the same uh, 1 fourth inch tube. I will connect it with the zip ties along this pipe and take it up here. I will attach a 1x2, this, these are the 1x2s which I got from Home Depot. I stained with the same color which I use for my deck. Um, so I will attach um, it on the wall using my hammer drill and then from here it will go all the way all across the wall. I will have 2 or 3 mitts over here and then from here I will bring it on my pergola using zip ties i'll attach it all around the pergola i'm starting off the project i'm thinking of putting the one by two horizontally first uh, making some pilot holes in it and then attaching it using my hammer drill on the wall my hammer drill it's a wireless hammer drill and I've set the function to hammer so very useful and handy battery operated Ryobi The horizontal 1x2 is all fixed. I just need to cut another 1x2 piece and then install on this side a small piece here. The 1x2 strips have been attached. Uh, next what I'm planning to do is I have this tube I'll drop it down from here and then using zip ties I'll attach it until the top and then I have few uh, plastic clips which I'll using nail I'll attach it on the on this one by two and then get it on to my pergola I think this should be sufficient if extra I'll just pull it back up now I'll go down and start attaching it to the pipe using zip ties and then I'll do the water connection right at the end this is my water outlet and 
under the garage and I'm, I'm planning to put the pipe through here through the sleeve and up from here I have tied the pipe using zip ties so here is one zip tie and the one I'll pull this extra once I go back on, the, uh, on my deck and then I will continue putting the zip ties right till the top and continue my project. Now that the pipe has reached till the top I will be attaching this pipe onto the 1x2s using um, clips so it looks something like these it was it was originally white in color but i just spray painted and made them black now time to install our first mister um, this is how it looks it has a p opening here one end goes here and the other one continues if you want to close the mist we just need to twist it and it gets closed we'll get to know more about it once uh, there is water in the pipe and we make the connection for now we just need to cut the pipe install it and continue clipping installed three mists on this wall here and then the pipe comes onto the pergola and there are two mists in, installed on these sides and on this side again I have installed two mists so this side and this side is left We need to install one last mist over here. The only difference in the fitting is instead of this T from which the tube continues, we have a straight one to mark the end. I have already installed one over here, so this is an extra which they gave us. You just push the mist on top, and this is how it fits as to what I did over here my plan was to put this end mister right here at a right angle but the problem what I was facing is when I was bending the tube it wasn't straight so if I would have switched on the mister the water would have the mist would have gone like this at an angle and not straight and down um, so I continued using the T installed one mister here and the last mister um, I installed but I have permanently switched it turned it off so there will be no mist coming from it and the connection is now secure we have all the nozzles installed now now it's time to go down to the garage to do the water connection I'm in my garage now and this is the pipe which is coming from the deck um, this is my outlet uh, I'll just move this yeah this is my outlet here I've installed a hose splitter uh, and I will be attaching my mist in this outlet this is just for uh, miscellaneous watering purposes or for cleaning um, driveway uh, if I need whenever 
so this is where I'll be installing it. This is a really cool Bluetooth hose faucet timer which I got from Amazon. I'll add the link in the description below. The best part about uh, what I like about this faucet timer is that we can control it from my phone. So I don't need to come downstairs every time to turn on the faucet so that the mist upstairs works. So I can directly control it from my um, phone and it has an app which you need to download from Google Play Store and App Store both. It runs on two AA batteries. So behind this you can put batteries and the lid goes on. It has really cool functions in it like we can schedule whenever for how long we want the water to come out and every duration the days of the week if you want it every day for one minute for after every one hour you want the faucet to turn out for one minute that can everything can be done through the app if you want to do it manually there's a button over here so you just click on the button and see the green light comes on and the faucet is on a manual mode now so before installing the pipe directly into my faucet I'll run it through this timer so that I can control it from my phone the inlet it has a wire mesh so that if any impurities it will stop from going inside the timer I've put some Teflon tape on the outlet and you just screw just turn it and it easily okay I think it's don't over tighten it and this is the lid yeah and the other end will come here this 3 8 inch brass wall with a washer was provided to us um, with the kit all I had to do was open the screw and push the tube inside and then screw it screw it back if I connect my mist tube I just want to check if this Bluetooth faucet is working properly or not so I've put it on manual and I'll just press the side button and see if the water is coming out once I open the tap and press the green button okay okay so it's not coming out which is good and if I press this button okay great I think it's working okay the app is ready I have connected and configured the water timer here a uh, few of the nozzles are closed purposely I've done that but I don't want the whole area to get flooded so I, I don't know let's check it out on the count of three two one I think summers are here and I am enjoying this. Leave some comments in the comment section below if you like this video and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do that and I'll see you next time. Till then, let me enjoy the summers.